Hello, welcome back here in China, everybody. <laughs> it's good to see you all here. You know what to do. Go ahead, click that like button. Leave your comment in the comment section down below. You know how the drill works. Good to see all of you guys here. Listen, today we're going to eat at a Muslim shop here in China. So it's a, it's a normal restaurant run by Muslims in the mainland China. And I just want to say hello to everybody. Hello, hello, you beautiful people out there watching from wherever you are watching from. Oh, I'm hungry. And uh, I know what I'm going to eat. I'm actually a big fan of Muslim food. Super, super tasty. And really good prices as well. So uh, I'm going to take you guys today to go have a bite with me. So basically you guys are going to see me eat. How crazy is that? Thank you for all that likes. It's super cool. Let me know in the side chat where you are watching from. It's always fun to know. And uh, let's find that shop. I'm going to flip you around to see what I see now. Beautiful streets. It's super cold though. <laughs> it's really cold. We're in the middle of winter almost. And uh, today in particular is super, super cold. My gosh. Ah, thank you for all that likes, guys. That's, that's really nice of you all. Um, as you can see, what the hell is this? That's some sausage over there. Dried sausage. Well, we are looking for a Muslim shop. And we're going to have a nice bite. I know what I'm going to order. Looks good, says Courtney. Hey, uh, Cody. Uh, Cody. Yeah, how are you doing, buddy? How are you doing? Yeah, there's more. I think this is fish. Look at this. I can smell fish. Yeah, that's some fish over there. Hey, Gary, watching from Singapore. Hello, buddy. That's fish, but there's also some, some of those sausages hanging there. Ah, uh, guys, I, uh, I just finished a video where I visited a real Christian church here in China, like a, a real church where people go to and, you know, go practice their religion. So not just a, a touristy thing, it's a real church. So uh, I'll be editing that later today. And upload that video it's going to be interesting it was a little bit weird in the beginning but uh yeah it should be okay i guess listen go hit that like go hit that like button uh that helps me really a lot and i think we're approaching that muslim shop now what's up man my name is jerry too awesome jerry is a cool name man jerry is a super cool name I just need to find that shop. It's somewhere here. Oh, here it is. We've got it. The old Muslim shop here in Qingdao, China. They are open. Let's go get some food. Hello. These are my friends. Hello. Uh, let's order some food. You want to say hello? <laughs> Ah. Uh, say hello. Oh. Uh, say hello. This is my hello. friend here. He runs the shop. He's the Muslim Where guy. Food? Very good food, right? Yeah. So let's get some food, guys. Um, he, he even knows what I want. That's how crazy I am eating Muslim food always. So that's pretty neat. So let's go sit down and find something to drink. And uh, yeah, then we rock and roll with this, with this stream. I'm going to put you guys down here, that you can see me maybe here. <sighs> ah, man, it's cold, let me tell you that. Oh, forgot to close the door. Hold on for me. Ah. 
Time for some lunch. So, because I'm sitting down right now, I will take a lot of questions from you guys today. So, if you have any question you want to ask me, drop it in the side chat and uh, I will answer it for you. So, let's get this party started. I got myself some, some orange juice to go with uh, my lunch. I just want to show you guys how a real Muslim shop really looks like. Like you can tell by the tables. Look at this, hold on. You can tell by the tables. Um, it's like this glassy, I don't know man, it's, it's, it's just so Muslim-y. That's how it looks like always, always, always in these shops. So neat, so clean, organized. And oh man, I'll show you the menu real soon. There's so much you can order in these places. Um, hey mate, this is Wuxi China. No, this is actually uh, Qingdao. I'm in Qingdao, buddy. I will be do a, doing a lot of traveling soon. I will be doing a lot of traveling real soon, um, starting 2021. I'm just waiting for the virus to, you know, the regulations to get better. And then we're going to rock and roll. Uh, this China, believe me, believe me. Thank you for that likes. Go ahead, click that like button. And I'm gonna take off this face mask now. Um, by the way, Jerry, I lost similar jumper a while ago. It looks, it looks like the one you are wearing. Please, can you kindly return <laughs> when you're finished with the live stream? Oh, okay. I'll return it to you, buddy, no problem. But yeah, it's kind of cool, huh? It's neat, look at this. Pretty, pretty cool, I think. <laughs> I didn't take yours, this is mine. Um, people eating just like in the US, while they're, <laughs> they're with the phone in the one hand, yeah. That, that's pretty much how it is. It's, you know, a lot of people just come hang out here during lunch times, you know, that relaxing time. Especially winter or summer, they have these air cons. You can check it, you know, you can check it out here. They have these air cones in these uh, shops. So if it's super cold outside or super hot outside, they, people will come for lunch, just relax, eat your meal, watch your favorite, I don't know, show on your phone and then just sleep on these tables for about an hour before you get back to work. So by the way, if you want some good merch, you just need to drop me an email and I'll send it through to you. I do want to say there's a lot of orders, orders on backlog um, due to the virus, so I can't ship them all over, but they are coming, and thank you for the support, I greatly, greatly appreciate that. Also, I want to tell you guys, if you really want to support this channel, please go become a Patreon. Our family over there is growing, and um, it's busy looking good, and I'm releasing my podcasts exclusively on there. Um, links in the description, so by the way. Is this live? Yeah, it's 100% live, my buddy. I do real life, like real, real life. On this channel, you see me in the streets, in China, in real time. I always say, I take you into China and you don't need a visa or a passport. You just subscribe to the channel, man, and you are in China with me. Look at that. We are chilling in a Muslim shop in China, mainland, mainland China. So where's the questions? Hit me up with some questions. Hey, it's not always that I read some questions. You guys know if I walk in the streets, I'm always, you know, distracted. So now I'm focusing on you guys. Let's, um, let's ask questions. So hungry as fuck says. Yo, Jerry, ask uh, for spicy sauce. I've got them right here, my buddy. On these Muslim tables, you are rigged with everything you need. Look at this. So on the tables, you get your, your tissues, you get your sauces, that's the hot spicy sauce he's talking about, and um, you get your vinegar over here. So you are pretty much rigged with all of this before you start your, your awesome, awesome, awesome meal. And we just received a super sticker from 
from Shuang Rei Guo. Thank you so much, my buddy. It's greatly appreciated that you helped my channel out. Awesome. And I do need it because we're going to travel a lot in 2021. I'm going to live like on noodles constantly because all the money I earn on this channel is going to go back into flight tickets, cheap hotels. We're going to visit rural areas. I'm going to seriously go wild in China. Believe me. So thank you for that super sticker. Um, they already know what he wants. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I know those people. I eat some, you know, I, I'm a regular here. I just stepped in here. They said, Jerry, you want this, this, this? Done. I just pay later. So, yeah, they know what I want. <laughs> this is my favorite shop. So, by the way, guys, that likes look beautiful. So, by the way, is the audio everything okay? Because early on I had a little bit issues. So, I went home to go get my microphone. So, please let me know if everything is okay now. Um, Jerry, red is Chinese lucky color. Red packet money for Chinese New Year. Thank you so much. Money bang, lol. <laughs> uh, let's see. Jeff Liang says, looks like he visits there often. Yeah, man, I am always here. Jason, uh, Jordan in China says, uh, how is it going, my guy? Get on the beers. <laughs> Jordan in China, also a great channel if you guys want to go check him out. I will definitely have a beer later, but for now, hey, I'm a good boy. Because it's, um, it's just past 12, so I'm having a, a nice orange juice with my meal and as you can tell i want to i want to i want to talk about this i don't know if you guys can notice but these muslim shops on the mainland mainland china they are super busy constantly the chinese people love this food and they support these muslim shops you know so i don't know why these fake news look how nice they are grilling that noodles and meat over there I don't know why the mainstream media makes such a big fuss and lie about this. These guys are full on Muslim. Um, they actually come from Xinjiang. So by the way, these two, they are brothers. Um, they come from Xinjiang. And they obviously moved to Qingdao. They opened their shop here. And they are legal. And the cool thing is literally out this door, like there. If you go out the door and you turn left, and you turn right in the first street is a big police station. So I just want to let you guys know that it's absolute bollocks that these guys are not allowed to freely have their businesses and live a happy life as a Muslim in China. I mean, look how packed this place is, man. People are enjoying their food. <laughs> these are all Chinese Han people eating at a Muslim shop. I mean, if they really hated these people so much, they would have boycotted it this shops you know what i mean they would they would never eat here they will go to the police and say hey there's a muslim shop running there close it down they don't do that because it's absolute bollocks these guys have a fair normal easy life here thank you so much yes 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 yeah. this is a good guy that is a good guy guys my food has just arrived i'm waiting for you can see the steam coming up i'm waiting for my small plate of meat and it's coming now yes yeah look at this look at this so i'm going to introduce my food to you guys in a muslim shop in mainland china served by a muslim from xinjiang never listen to the fake news and all the nonsense going on around you know the internet these guys are operating and they enjoy their life and god damn it chinese behind me and myself we love their food so by the way I got myself this. So this is special meat done by these guys. It's super thin cut. Look at this. And I will tell you guys why I order it. I think I'm the only person in the world doing this. But in anyway, so you can see it's very clean meat and it's very thinly cut. Mm. And they serve it cold. My gosh. This on bread with butter is divine. So anyway, my main course is this. Have a look at this. Bam! There we go. This is my main course, what I always, always, always eat here at the Muslim shop. Can you guys smell it? It's amazing. Look at that. We're going to talk price real soon, but just have a look at that. Now, this is 
real Muslim noodles. Now the reason I order this is because you all know that I'm a South African. Yes, South Africans can't live without their meat, right? So for me, there are meat, but not enough. So what Jerry does is he orders an extra small side dish of meat. And what do I do? I take my chopsticks, bounce it against the table for good luck, and I chuck it in my noodles. Come over here. In my noodles. But we're not done yet. Not done yet. So it's in there. The soup, I don't eat, so I put it away. Then I take my vinegar and I throw a gallon of vinegar over this food. And then, ladies and gentlemen, the most important part, I put this little tissue here. Because eating these noodles is the most difficult thing to do for a foreigner. Let me tell you that. Because these noodles over here, if you don't eat them fast enough, they quickly, like, they, they stick to each other. And <laughs> man, you can't get that stuff out. You, you can't get it in your mouth, especially using chopsticks if you are a foreigner. Let's dig in. Welcome in a Muslim shop in China, mainland. Uh, let's taste this. Normally, if my wife eats with me here, she brings like a fork. So then I have a fork to eat it. But for today, we're going to roll with the chopsticks. Mm. Oh my God. Listen. Yeah, <laughs> you say you can smell it. You guys have no clue how amazing this is. And these noodles are thick and it's special made. Look at that. Mm. It's made by hand. What they do in Xi'an, when I stayed in Xi'an is, they use these noodles like the dough and stuff and they hang it like around, like it looks like a pole with like a little hook. You know, so it's a pole with a little hook and they hang these dough around it. And they literally do like moves with their, with their hands to work this noodle. And in the end, you can actually watch them do this. And in the end, they serve it to you. It's amazing. So these guys do the same. Um, I think, I'm not sure what it's called. I think it's Bian Bian, almost like Bian Bian Meng. It's not Bian Bian Meng, but it's almost like Bian Bian, bian Meng. I'm almost like that. So they work the noodle with the hands before it goes into the... Uh, the pot to cook. But anyway, I talk too much. Let, let's have a look at the meat. So this is the meat in the noodles. My gosh, it's amazing. With that vinegar, it just brings out... It just makes it amazing. And uh, yeah, you are right. There are Muslim shops like this everywhere in China. So I don't know where this whole thing comes from. From Muslims are not allowed to do this and Muslims have this you know, oppressed life here in China. These people make a ton of money because they are always jam-packed. And so, by the way, I've seen police eat here. Everyone, everyone eats Muslim food because it's clean. It's amazing. Let's talk price. You guys saw what I ordered. So it was a small side, di side dish, perfectly cooked meat. And then this huge bowl of noodles with meat and vegetables in. You drop me a message in the side chat real quick. How much do you think I paid for this? Because you won't believe me. You won't believe me. Let's see if you guys can... Uh, mm. Mm. You see why I need this? Because this... Let me, let me show you guys how it looks like when Jerry eats noodles. So, uh, 18 RMB, 12 RMB, 15 yuan. A lot of 20s coming in. So, for this noodles plus meat was 16.5 RMB. 
this guy over here I get free because I'm a regular and they just love me so they always give me one for are we back live mm -hmm. are we back live let me know in the side chat are we back live so so yeah it's super cheap and so by the way i get this for free because these guys just love me sorry the connection failed because it failed because my wife was calling me and i always tell her never call me when i'm busy with a live stream she wanted to call me to tell me i must uh, you know take the washing the, the laundry out a little bit later my god i'm busy with a muslim stream a muslim food stream so that's why we lost connection so yeah guys look at this just want to show you this oh and you are full when you finish this mm. Mm. oh my god so This is the, the meat, the extra meat that I order with, um, with the noodles. Look how delicate and beautiful. And if you dump them in that vinegar, it's just more bitter. Can, can you guys taste it? Can you smell it? Can you, mm. It's amazing, man. Mm. Also, what I wanted to tell you guys, the service of these guys are phenomenal. They are always welcoming people, you know, they are always friendly. They are really like, you guys saw, if, if, you, if you watch this as a video a bit later, or you guys that watched the stream from the beginning, you saw this. I just walked in here, they knew exactly what I wanted. I didn't even say hello, they know, oh, there's the guy, the foreigner that always eats here. He wants this, 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 bam, done. The service is amazing because these guys, you know, they dedicate their lives into these shops. Normally, they will live like above these shops, like it's two, two floors. So the bottom part is the restaurant and the top part is basically, or like behind the restaurant, is basically where they live, their whole, whole families and they all work together in these shops they they don't really employ staff they only trust their family to work in these shops and that is why the service are so great the food is so great and these guys work so hard i mean look at these glasses over here how nicely organized is that over there you can you can tell by the little cloth hanging over it they don't want it dirty at all these guys are clean clean individuals and trust me their food is really really amazing xfl okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take two or three questions before i let you guys go so this is the first question jerry do you have family in china yeah buddy i do have family in china i have a wife and i have two little daughters and uh, yeah so i'm pretty much rooted into china buddy mm. This is my home now. So, what I'm going to do now is, what is your way of learning the language? Well, what I'm doing is I'm speaking a lot of Chinese with my father-in-law. And uh, that's basically it. I'm speaking a lot Chinese with locals. But I'm going to start learning Chinese, real Chinese, in 2021, when I do my 268 city rural areas and villages tour. Um, then I'm going to learn the language for real because I'm going to become one with culture. You guys are going to see that. That's going to be crazy. It's going to be epic. I'm going to take you guys everywhere with me. My rig, you know, my camera set up, everything is ready. We are good to go. We are good to go explore China in a way nobody has ever done this. I'm going to become one with culture in China. 
So listen, I just want to show you guys. I just want to show you guys my food. I'm going to dive into this and finish this off now. But let me just show you what this restaurant has to offer. Awesome, awesome food. Look at this. Look at this. Look at all these foods. Amazing, amazing, amazing food. So with that said, I'm going to let you guys go. And uh, I'm going to ask my friend to say bye-bye. <laughs> Can you say bye-bye? Yeah, hello. Uh, you, now you can say bye-bye. Uh, say bye-bye. Okay, so everybody, if you're here, come support this man. The shop is very good, good food. Very good. Very good. You want to say bye-bye? Come here. This is, this is his friend. So everybody say bye-bye. Bye-bye. So guys, come support these guys. They are awesome people and the food is perfect. Thank you very much. All right, so... Guys, with that said, I want to show you the restaurant and I'm going to show, sign you guys off. This is a Muslim shop inside China. Thank you all for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>